This tutorial will go over how to create a picture in picture effect or a video wall in Final Cut Pro 10. Now the first thing you need to do is select your clip, bring it into your timeline. So I will do it in overwrite by selecting the W key. Make sure you go to the beginning of your clip when you're in the timeline to make sure that if you go do any effects that you are doing it from the beginning or from the point that you want to the action to be uh, working. So I'm at the beginning of my clip. You can tell that because here in my canvas I have my sprockets or film sprocket holes showing that I'm at the beginning of my clip. Now what I will do is I have to resize this clip. So you have to expose the inspector. You select the command key and the number four and that will expose your inspector. You can also click on this button here and this will expose your inspector. Now I will select on transform. In the event that you do not see these, let me close this up. This is what it originally looked like. If that's the case, you will select on the transform, click on show, and then you'll see position, rotation, and scale. You can also select this item here, which will allow you to see an outline of your video. And there you can select on a corner and then resize it as well as reposition it. This is very, very quickly manipulation of your video and reposition it. So we have our first video. If I were to play that, you should see my video playing on the upper left corner. Now I'm going to bring in another video to come on top. Now what I will do is I'm going to select another video, but I want it to come on top of this one. In that case, you have to do an overwrite but it has to be on top. So in this case, you will type the letter Q on your keyboard. When you do that, the clip will come on top of the other one. So once you do that, you'll see your video. Now you do not see the one underneath, or actually you see a portion of the one underneath because this clip that has just come in is above the other one on the top layer. So as you bring in your videos, you will be laying them in a manner of order so we have to resize this one because on the transform parameter was already selected by default you will see your bounding box already there so i can go ahead and select on here resize that and reposition it where i want it to be and there you go and now we have two videos so if i select on my timeline and i were to play that timeline you see both videos playing. So you can continue doing this as you're adding videos to your video wall or as I mentioned before, picture and picture effect. So I can do this as well. Again, pressing the letter Q will show you your um, clip and if you need to resize your clip, go ahead and resize as far as the length is concerned. If I go over my timeline here, again, select your clip. If the bounding box is already there, just click on the corner, resize, reposition, and now go ahead and play your clip. So if you select your canvas or your timeline, you press play and you should see all three videos playing at the same time. And that's how you create a picture in picture or video wall effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Thank you for watching Making the Real.